Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hey, we're back. This should be part five. It's, and we'll keep on doing a series to see how everything does. But uh, I'm doing some wiring right now. I'm gonna show you what I got going on. All right, all right y'all hang tight. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I had wired, brought my wire, disconnected from my little small 120 watt panels. And I use the MC4 connectors right here because I'm going to put vinyl side up here later on. I'm going to put some um, wire loom over top of the, this and everything. So there, there she goes, going to this combiner box right here. And you see I got some duct seal over top of that. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do all the prettying up on here in a little bit. But there we go. I'll take you over here to see what we're doing next. All right. Yeah, it's a pretty day. Those panels are just shining away. I'm not kidding. Nope, just shining away. Absorbing the heat. <laughs> Trying to get the power hooked up. Well, could have worked all last night, but I was just burnt out. But, uh, yeah, trying to do wire neatness and all that kind of stuff, it's tough sometimes. But up here, we got these panels right here. They are tied in the series. These right here. These, are, these two are tied in series. And down here, these are tied in series. This is like 75 volts each. Each array, each array, each array, 75 volts, or maybe more, 80 volts. I checked my volts just before I hooked my thing. I had 36 and 37 volts out of each panel. So I was like, woohoo, that's kicking. So yeah, I got my wiring and got my wire rails. There, there were two, those are pretty awesome. These are Iron Ridge wire rails. They help you keep your wire, everything all nice and neat. There's my ground, 60 gauge. So I just got temporary all uh, right there until I get everything wired in my combiner box. So yeah, we're, we're rock and rolling. Put my CMI glasses on. So anyway, we are down here right now. Oh, sit down on my sit down okay we're wiring, wiring our uh, midnight solar surge protection device oh you gotta have it uh, with the combiner box and right now I got my ground my green ground for you know equipment grounding terminal that's going in right here okay then I got my black a negative Come right through here. That's going to the negative terminal side. And I put a piece of white heat shrink tube that came with the uh, kit. So yeah, it's good, good. I got about five of these. Can't go wrong. I have the right protection. So anyway, I'm getting ready to hook this, this red. The red goes right up here into this terminal right here along with the power so when you get voltage coming through here this little LED light will light up but right now we don't have anything coming through here so I'll give you an update here in a minute when we do some more work alright just want to show you how far along I am okay we'll be back shortly okay y'all we're back got my ground hooked up right here Coming right through, I'm gonna tie that back out of the way. So it come, comes through here, right through here. All right, and then here comes my earth ground. And that's my awesome earth ground also. But here goes my earth ground right here. Comes up the bottom, right here. And you're right there. I got a flag, so I won't step on or trip on it, but you know, I mean, I'll probably trip on it anyway. But yeah, 
that's what we got so far. So now we're gonna hook PV cables up. Woo All right, we'll be back here shortly. All right, back. I mean, uh, sorry. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, we got the, our PV number two hooked up. That's this array right here in series. And PV1, which is right here. That is this array right here on top. So, yeah. Good stuff. So now we're going to Look for PV negative into our, our bus bar right here. Negative bus bar. And then we gotta run our number two uh, um, negative in there also. We'll be right back. At these messages. <laughs> okay folks, we're all hooked up. Let's check our uh see what we got for voltage coming in. Alright, I'm on my Number one, we got 67.5 volts. I hope y'all can see that. 65. 67.5 volts coming in. Now I'm going to check this one. 67.8. Sixty-seven point five, sixty-seven point eight. That's good. All right. All right. All right. Let's go and close her up. So we got power. Man, y'all love these combiner boxes. <clears throat> they show you everything you had to hook these things up. Good to go. First of all, I'll put this cover on here like that. I checked all my my terminals. Made sure everything was good to go. This could be tricky sometimes. Come on, baby. Check these connections one more time. You be too careful. All right, good to go. All right. Alright, that's in and they're off right now. Now I'll put a cover on. Alright. We'll cut one on at a time. Alright, look at that y'all. We got voltage. See that light come on? All right, now let's go ahead and turn on our, we've got number one on right now. Is that a light? I mean, we've got power coming in. All right, so let's go check out the shop. We don't want to overdo it. Okay, y'all, it's 1.10 um, in the afternoon, one, yeah, 1.10 1 p.m. on Labor Day, half our Labor Day, y'all. Put the PV on. And we'll cut our Outback Flex Max 80 on. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Wake up. She's climbing. That's 350, 340. Okay, 
Let's go cut the other one off. Alright. I'll cut that other one off, see what we've got. All right now we're at 200. Oh, uh, 2,000 watts. All right, let's go cut the other uh, circuit on. Okay, we're gonna cut number two on. All right, let's go see what we got now. Okay, y'all, we got 700 watts. 680, 730, 750, 760. It's going on in town. Got 49.4 volts coming in. So that's looking pretty good. 750 watts out of 1065. All right, right here, this is our 1610 array. We're bringing in 1,010 watts out of 30.5 volts. This is our 840 watt array. We're bringing in 650 watts at 44.5 volts. All right. So, not too bad. That's a long run, but I don't think we're losing too much, too much power. So I'll be giving updates to see what's going on with the system. Uh, see what's going on. All right. Well, let's check her out again. There she is, making power. All right, let's take a walk over there. Maybe I'm done for today. That's not too bad. It's a long run. It should probably be a hundred. Well. Probably a hundred foot of uh, PV cable, so it's a pretty long run. So you can lose some, and you got to figure where we put the cable in. It was right here, all alongside the fence, all alongside there, alongside there, and so on. I went to the solar shop. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, we'll wrap, we're going to wrap this video up. I'm done for the day, y'all. We're rolling. But there she is. I got a few more tabs cut off from my, my uh, everything. But here's my wiring job. Up here. Not too shabby. Those rails really help out a lot. Need something to wire in a whole lot. There we go. All right, I'm back for some more updates. So, let's get here, right here. But anyway, hey y'all, I wanna, whoa. Scary. All right, y'all. Hey, I want to thank y'all for watching, and uh, let me know what you think. Hey, y'all have a good one. Those panels are awful hot too. It's about uh, 90 degrees out here right now. Like I say, it's 1:17 in the afternoon. Okay, y'all. Y'all take care. All right now. All right. Bye bye.